and welcome back for another OS Ticket tutorial. Today, we will be going over how to install and manage your OS Ticket help desk using GitHub. This time around, I'll be doing things on my CentOS 7 VM. Using GitHub will ensure that you always have the latest features and bug fixes without having to wait for an official release. Let's begin. First, you need to create a folder that you want to clone the repository to. You'll want to create it somewhere other than the var www html directory. Next, go to GitHub. Click the clone or download button and copy the URL shown. I'd like to pause here for a second and take a look at the branches we can choose to clone. As you can see, develop is selected by default, and the develop branch is currently running OS Ticket version 110. If you run the git clone command without specifying a branch, this is the branch that will be cloned. However, you always have the option to switch branches whenever you'd like. As of right now, we keep the latest code on the develop next branch, as well as the highest version branch you see, which right now is 112x. For the sake of this tutorial, I'd like to clone version 111, and then I will show you how to switch to the latest branch, which is currently 112. Go back to the commands line and type the following. In this command, minus B means branch, 111 is the branch name, and we are specifying that we want to clone this single branch. By default, GitHub will clone the code into a folder with the name of the repository. If you wanted the folder to be named something else, just type the desired folder name at the end of the command. Now we need to deploy the code into the directory where the code will be run from. First, let's create that folder. Now, navigate back to the OS Ticket folder where the repository was cloned from. Now, run the deploy command. Now, you should be able to visit your URL and use your help desk accordingly. You can confirm your help desk version is running by visiting your help desk and going to admin panel, dashboard, information, and looking at the OS ticket version. Now let's say there's a new version out and you need to switch to that branch. First, you need to fetch the new branch. Let's go back into your cloning directory. Remember, you should always fetch changes here first and then deploy them with a the deploy command. You should never directly modify the code that is in the var www directory. Our next goal is to switch from running the code on version 111 branch to the 112 branch. Let's take a look at how our local branch looks now. Here, we see that we only have one branch, 111x. You can see which commit you are on by doing git log. If we compare this commit to the OS ticket repo, we will see that we're on the, the same commit on the 111 branch.
Let's go over what we need to do to get the 112 code into place. First, we'll look at our remote repositories. This command lets you know the name of any remotes that you can fetch and push to. You can only push to a repository you have access to. In our case, you will only see Origin, and it points to the main OS ticket repo. In order to fetch, however, we need to add an upstream remote. I'm going to go ahead and copy this URL one more time and type the following. Now you can see we have an upstream branch and we specify the name upstream right here. Since we want our changes from upstream, that is what we need to fetch. When running this command, git will fetch all of the branches found in the remote's repo. Since we want this branch to have the 112 code base on it, we need to check out that branch. If you do git branch here, you'll notice it says you're in a detached head state. Don't worry, this won't be painful. This just means we need to check out a branch that actually belongs to us. Run the following. Minus B stands for branch and 112X is the name of our new branch. This command creates an exact copy of the branch you were on before doing the checkout. So now when we do git log, we should see the latest commit from the 112 branch. When comparing this commit to GitHub, we should see that our branch is up to date with 112. Now that we can confirm our code is up to date, let's deploy our code to our running environment. Now when we check the OS ticket version, we should see that our help desk is running version 112. So what happens when the 112 branch gets an update? Let's take a look at the steps to take to update the 112 branch. First, you would fetch the branch. Our branch is already up to date, so I'll just show an example of what you should expect to see if there are any changes. So you would do sudo git fetch upstream, and you will see an output of every branch that's been updated. Once you've fetched the changes, you need to merge them, which will look something like this. You'll say sudo git merge, and then the updated branch that you want to merge into the one that you are currently on. Remember, you can confirm that you're on the latest commit by doing git log and comparing to GitHub. Once you can confirm that the changes are in place, you can deploy your code again, running the same command that we've been running. Before we wrap up this tutorial, I'd just like to make note of one more thing. If you do an upgrade to your code base and you notice that the help desk shows the upgrader when you log in, it is always best to do an export of your database before you upgrade, just in case something goes wrong and you need to restore your data. That's all for this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. 
Check out the links in the description for additional help and more OS Ticket news. Thanks for watching.